Hi everyone, welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Samnani's YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve another problem which we have covered. So we have covered the topics of uh, of uh, your increasing and decreasing function, right? In the last video, and I have uh, solved few problems. So now I'll few more few more problems. Okay, few more problems. So if you want to complete your engineering maths you can watch this playlist and even if you want to complete the questions so there is another playlist which i have created where you can see the calculus questions so questions also if you are aware of theory and if you want to use it as a revision then also you can use you can watch only questions okay so that also different different playlists are there for different different topics okay and at the end of this series you will get all the questions in the different different playlists for example calculus question in one playlist algebra question one playlist probability questions in one playlist and in this playlist you will get every like all the theory plus questions all the theory plus questions okay now without wasting your time we'll solve this we will solve this so this question fx is equal to integration 0 to x e to the power t into t minus 1 t minus 2 dt that fx decreases in the interval that you define okay and this is asked in gate 2022 and it carries two marks it carries two marks we have already discussed that when you can say fx will decrease fx will decrease if f dash x is less than 0 if f dash x is less than 0 then only we can say that fx will decrease fx will decrease first, first we need f dash x now i have not covered integration but uh, i will tell you still we'll solve this in integration i'll explain this so there is one rule called Leibniz rule Leibniz integral rule where you can differentiate an integration where you can differentiate an integration in detail we'll, we are going to cover integration but because this theorem i have to complete and i need to solve some question of limits also based on it that's why i'm completing it here in the question okay so we need this so when integration when you are integrating a function ft ft dt when you are integrating function ft dt whose limits are variable from ux to vx then you can differentiate it using Leibniz integral, Leibniz integral. So what Leibniz says, what you do, you differentiate vx first, v dash x. Then you replace this t with vx. So f of vx, f of vx. Plus you differentiate ux, u dash x into, you replace this t with ux, f of ux. That is what Leibniz said, okay. Now general formula of Leibniz I will cover after integration. In integration I will discuss the general formula of Leibniz where I will show you that if it is f of x comma t, it may be a function of x comma t also. Okay. Then this will get one more additional term but for this question and the question of limits you don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. So that's why I am covering single variable only here in putting f of t. So this you keep in mind. This you keep in mind. And one question I have already uploaded on Telegram, and that question also needs the use of Leibniz rule. Okay, so I'm going to upload that question also, and as a practice problem, also we'll use it. So this is the Leibniz rule: how you can differentiate an integration, which is function of f t dt, and whose limits are in terms of x. So actually, if you integrate this f t dt, you will get, and if you put the limits, so this will be actually a function of x only. It is some function of x, and you are differentiating a function of x. You are differentiating a function of x. That's why you are getting everything in x. You are getting everything in x. That's how you can use Leibniz rule. Now, so what I need for increasing and decreasing function, I need the derivative. So how I can differentiate this? Now fx is given to me as f of x in exam. It is given as 0 to x. So limit is variable of e to the power t into t minus 1. To t minus 2 dt. So now I need df by dx. So if you differentiate it, it is f dash x. So this will be first. You differentiate the variable limit. So differentiate of x is 1. 
into now you replace t with vx vx is x here to the power x x minus 1 x minus 2 okay and this will be minus not plus minus no minus you differentiate ux if you differentiate zero so zero will be zero zero into your whatever you multiply by zero you will get zero so what is your m dash x m dash x is e to the power x x minus one x minus two. so now derivative is known derivative is known so you need to find where it will be increasing or decreasing so just draw a line so we have to check where this will be positive and where this will be negative e to the power x is always positive you know the graph already we have discussed or you can write that all exponent functions are positive all exponent functions are positive okay so graph of exponent functions will be either like this or like this right so all exponent functions are always positive so this is always positive so f dash x only depend on the sign of x minus 1 and x minus 2 so put the points here one point is 1 one point is 2 now we'll check when x is greater than 2 in 2 to infinity if i take a point let's say 3 so 3 minus 1 positive 3 minus 2 positive positive into positive positive so here it will be positive so if you put a value which is more than 2 you will get m dash positive it means function will increase fx will <coughs> increase similarly in 1 to 2 put a value in between 1 to 2 let's say 1.5 so when I keep 1.5 here, 1.5 minus 1, positive. 1.5 minus 2 is negative. Positive into negative, negative. So derivative negative means function is decreasing. Function is decreasing. Similarly, let's say a value which is less than 1. Less than 1 means, let's say 0. 0 minus 1, negative. 0 minus 2, negative. Negative into negative is positive. So derivative positive means function is increasing. So if somebody asks in which interval this fx, this fx will increase, so it will increase from minus infinity to 1 union 2 to infinity. And when it will be decrease, it will decrease from 1 to 2. Achha, if it is, it is saying 1 to 2, right? So 1 to 2 it will decrease. It is strictly decreasing in 1 to 2. It is monotonically or strictly decreasing in 1 to 2. Okay. So if they ask decreasing only. Okay. For example, here he has asked decreasing. So actually at 1 also it is decreasing because m dash x is less than equal to 0. So if you put equal to also then it is decreasing. Okay. So even you can include 1 comma 2. So this inclusion and exclusion of 1, it depends what he is asking. If he is asking decreasing, then you can include 1 and 2. If it's strictly decreasing, then you can exclude that. Okay. So it depends on the question. So here he just shows, he says decrease. So in this interval, pakka it is decreasing. In 1 to 2, it is decreasing. So what is the answer? A. A is the answer that it is decreasing in, in 1 to 2. It is decreasing in 1 to 2. And it is increasing in minus infinity to 1, 2 to infinity. This you can, 1 you can include also, exclude also. 2 you can include also, exclude also. So you will exclude always. If they are asking strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, you can include if they ask increasing or decreasing. Okay. So that you can take care. That you can take care. So I hope this question is clear. One more question we will solve. This one. Consider the function fx equal to mod x cube. Where x is real. Where x is real. So then the function fx at x equal to 0 is continuous and differentiable once differentiable but not twice twice differentiable but not thrice or thrice differentiable so you have to check three times differentiability okay so first what we'll do we'll write this function as piece piecewise function okay so we know that mod x will be positive mod x will become x when x is positive so x cube i've already discussed the mod function in functions you can check that Okay, so if you put a positive input, it will come out same. 
as x but if you put a negative input so it will be minus x and minus x cube is minus x to the cube is minus x cube minus x to the cube is minus x cube okay so that's how we can define it now i told that you don't need to use the basic differential formula this one limit x tend to 0 fx minus fa upon x minus a every time you don't need to use it and if he's asking it is once differentiable so now i'm not going to use this that f dash x minus f dash a upon x minus a we will not use this or twice differentiable then we are not going to use that what we are going to use is we write like this now if the function is continuous we can directly differentiate if the function is continuous we can directly differentiate so at x equal to 0 what is LHL LHL will be this will be left hand limit so LHL will be for left hand limit this will be the function so LHL will be put 0 here 0 what will be the RHL this 0 cube is 0 and value of function value of function is also 0 so it is continuous it means at x equal to 0 fx is fx is continuous so fx is continuous as it is continuous you can differentiate it so f dash x now in the last video i already told if it is continuous then you can directly differentiate so this is 3x square and x is positive minus 3x square when x is negative when x is negative correct so now we have to check that it is differentiable or not x, x equal to 0 this will be right hand derivative this will become left hand derivative at x equal to 0 we are talking about x equal to 0 so rhd will be put x equal to 0 0 lhd will be 0 as both are equal it means it is differentiable what is differentiable fx is differentiable differentiable once it is differentiable once it is differentiable once so once differentiable but not twice so now he is asking twice so you have to differentiate again but when you can differentiate if it is continuous check the continuity for x equal to 0 this will be rhl now this is a new function gx so either you check this is twice differentiable or gx is once differentiable so for gx x equal to 0 this will be rhl so rhl will be 0 because 3 into 0 will be 0 even lhl will be 0 so this gx is continuous at x equal to 0 because rhl is 0 lhl is 0 so gx is continuous at x equal to 0 if it is continuous i can differentiate it it means you can differentiate this it means you can differentiate it twice so now you have differentiated so you have directly differentiated now after that we will check that whether it is differentiable or not but if it is continuous you differentiate it so now we have differentiated right now this will at x equal to 0 this will be rhd this will be lhd so what is right hand derivative at x equal to 0 this will be 0 and left hand derivative will be 0 both are equal it means it is twice differentiable it means it is twice different what is twice differentiable fx is twice differentiable fx is twice differentiable so it is continuous but not differentiable that is wrong once differentiable but not twice that is wrong yeah twice differentiable now we have to see it is thrice differentiable or not so if you have to differentiate again now you have to check the continuity so right hand limit will be 6x 6 into 0 is 0 left hand limit will be minus 6 into 0 that is 0 rhl equal to lhl equal to value so it is continuous so it is also continuous as it is continuous i can differentiate so f triple x dash x is 6 minus 6 x positive x negative so at x equal to 0 this will be rhd this will be lhd 
and now you can see that RHD not same as LHD. 6 is not same as minus 6. So FX is not thrice differentiable. Not thrice differentiable. FX is not thrice differentiable. So it is twice differentiable but not thrice. Not thrice. So what is the answer? See. What is the answer? See. Okay. So like that you can solve lot of problems. Lot of problems. Okay. Thank you.